Hey you, are you wasting your time on social media again? Your brothers and sisters in Islam net from Norway are establishing a masjid, a da'wah center. Establishing a masjid to convey the message of Islam is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? It's been a long time, hasn't it? It's been a long time since you've heard the champ, since you've been acquainted with the champ, since you've had the privilege of hearing the champ's voice. How are you guys doing? Long time it has been. I came across a video and this video was um, actually interesting because it reminded me of another video and might be this is kind of confusing now but let me tell you what i'm talking about reminds me of another video so this is joe rogan and he says something which is very commonsensical but which we think we have the answer for let's listen to what he has to say you know i was having a conversation with a friend of mine about this yesterday we were talking about uh, how complex the human mind is and how complex life and society is but yet there's no real management book like there's no real, there's no document that shows you this is the optimal way to exist and these are the pitfalls of existing other ways. That, you know, you have these human reward systems built in and they can be hijacked by these various things and this is the way the human body and the human mind exist optimally. Now this reminded me, guys, this reminded me of the legendary and the famous and the prolific Dr. Zakir Naik and one of his very famous lines that he used to uh, give in front of the millions of people in India and in other parts of the world where he used to uh, give his public lectures. Let's take a look at Zakir Naik's response to Joe Rogan. Whenever we purchase an equipment, along with the equipment, we get an instruction manual. For example, when we purchase a DVD player, we get an instruction manual, which tells us how the DVD player should be operated. If you want to play the DVD, put the disc and press the play button. If you want to skip, press the skip button. If you want to stop, press the stop button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get damaged. Don't immerse it in water, it will get spoiled. All these details are given in the instruction manual. Whenever you buy an equipment, it has an instruction manual. And more complicated the machine, the more requirement of the instruction manual. If you allow me to call the human being the machine, I would say it is the most complicated machine on the face of this earth. Don't you think it requires an instruction manual? The instruction manual for the human beings, it is the glorious Quran. Now you heard that guys. The thing is, I totally agree with Zakir Naik and I think all Muslims would do because the thing is, look, if you think about the human being as a sentient, conscientious being right and if you agree that human being has free will and the ability to make a decision right and wrong and that the human being um, is different actually is fundamentally differentiated from all other life forms is fundamentally differentiated from animals from from plants from bacteria and so on and so forth the question is what is the purpose of life for the human being and the quranic answer to that or the islamic answer to that is that the human being is made to worship God. But putting it another way, the human being has to be one with nature. And the way to be one with nature, to put it in that sense, is to do what everything else in nature is doing. And everything else in nature is submitting its will to its creator, to the sustainer of the universe, to the creator of the heavens and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, the differentiating factor between human being and everything else in creation is that human being really has a choice to do what everything else in creation is doing, to fundamentally obey the creator. And yes, that choice is made through the instruction manual. That the creator, through his love and mercy and wisdom, has given the human being in order to follow. We believe in the previous dispensations, we believe in the uh, the books of old, the Torah and the Injil, the Gospels and the Torah. But we believe that the final dispensation that was sent to human beings is the one that was sent to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I think every human being owes it to themselves. 
to investigate at least this book and to see if the instruction manual would in fact be the one that would lead to the ultimate guidance. As the Quran states, قُلْ فَأْتُوا بِكِتَابٍ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ هُوَ أَهْدَى مِنْهُمَا أَتَّبِعْهُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ That, say, bring a book that is more in guidance than the Quran and the Torah, and I will follow it if you are truthful. So let's take a look at the Quran and take a look at all the other books that claim to be from God and that offer the ultimate guidance and see which one you think is the one that would lead to the ultimate guidance in this world and in the hereafter. You owe it to yourself as a human being to do at least that. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. And we know the great reward that will not only be gained, but rather will fill your grave after your death. Whenever someone prays there, whenever someone gives shahada in the masjid, whenever someone learns something in the masjid, yes, that will be something that you'll have on your scale.